In this video segment, we'll be discussing about introduction to data structures. And these are the contents. We'll be discussing about data, information, data structures, linear and nonlinear data structures. Data. Data means values or set of values. So data means it is just a raw material which does not carry any specific meaning. It is an individual unit or a set of values. Now what is information? When data is classified or organized into a meaningful manner, it is called as information. So what is information? It is the organized or classified data so that it has some meaningful values. Let us look at an example. These are examples of data. We have 16 and we have a date. So this is data. Now look at the information. The age of a person is equal to 16 or date of birth is equal to 19, 9, 2000. When the data, data is organized in a meaningful way, it becomes information. Now let us discuss about data structure. In computer science, data structure is a particular way of storing and organizing data so that it can be used efficiently. So data structure means it is a way of storing and organizing data. It is an arrangement of data in computer memory or even in the disk storage. A data structure can be considered as a combination of data and a set of algorithms. So you can represent a data structure in this way also. A data structure is a combination of data and a set of algorithms. Data structures can be classified into two. Linear data structures and non-linear data structures. Linear data structures. The data structures in which the data elements are arranged sequentially or linearly are called as linear data structures. Inside the linear data structures, there is only a single level. We can traverse or we can access the elements in a single run. And linear data structures are easy to implement because our computer memory is arranged in a linear way. Some examples for linear data structure are array, stack, queue, linked list, etc. So linear data structures are the data structures in which data elements are arranged sequentially or linearly. Non-linear data structures. The data structures where data elements are not arranged sequentially or linearly are called as non-linear data structures and uh, in a non-linear data structure single level is not involved there will be multiple levels so we cannot access all the elements in a single run and in the case of implementation linear data structures are easy to implement than the non-linear data structures and the non-linear data structures utilize computer memory efficiently when compared with the linear data structures some examples of nonlinear data structures are trees and graphs. So nonlinear data structures are those data structures in which the data elements are not arranged sequentially or linearly. Let us summarize. Data structures are classified into linear data structures and nonlinear data structures. Linear data structures are data structures which arrange elements sequentially. Examples are array, stack, queue, linked list, etc. 
Nonlinear data structures are data structures which do not arrange data elements sequentially. Examples, graphs and trees. Arrays. So it is a collection of data of same data type and the elements are stored in consecutive memory locations. Linked list is also a collection of data of same data type. Uh, but uh, the data may not be stored in the consecutive memory locations. Then stack, it is a data structure which follows last in first out uh, data structure. And uh, the two operations that will be done in a stack are push and pop operations. And uh, the next one is queue. A queue is a data structure which follows first in first out fashion and uh, the two operations are NQ and DQ operations. Next, uh, nonlinear data structures. Trees. Trees represent data in a hierarchical relationship and uh, graphs. Graphs also organize data in a nonlinear manner but not necessarily hierarchical. So in this video segment, we have briefly discussed about the data structures and the classification of data structures into linear and nonlinear data structures. Thank you.